Welcome to day number six of our 40 days of power. We have set our hearts to seek the face of the Lord, to pray and to trust him to do great things for us. And I trust that you've been joining us in this prayer, in this fasting. You are doing the prayer with us online and you're doing the prayer with us in person as well at the appropriate times. God is about to do something supernatural in your life. And this week, we're looking at guidance, the Lord guiding us and leading us, ordering our steps. So we go to Genesis chapter 25, verses 22 to 23, and we are talking about inquiring from the Lord. But the children struggled together within her, and she said, if it is all well, why am I like this? So she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said to her, two nations are in your womb, Two peoples shall be separated from your body. One people shall be stronger than the other, and the older shall serve the younger. This is Rebecca. Rebecca is the wife of Isaac, and she becomes pregnant and is feeling very uncomfortable inside of her and in her womb, and she's wondering what's going on. I don't seem to feel well. And so she does what we should always do when things are not working well. We take it to the Lord in prayer. So she went to inquire of the Lord. She went to ask God. She went to seek God's guidance. We're not told how she sought for God's guidance. Probably it was through prayer or she went to see a priest, uh, but she went to inquire of the Lord. And she said, uh, as she inquired of the Lord, God spoke to her. To inquire means to seek for divine guidance. Now, there are many times things may happen to us that don't seem to make sense. And that's what is happening to Rebecca. It doesn't seem to make sense. And, and so she goes to the Lord and says, Lord, what's, what's going on in my life? What, what's happening in my life? And we have to learn to go to God when things are happening we can't figure out. Of course, we have to use our mind, we have to use our brain, we have to use our training and our skills to try and solve problems. But when the problem is beyond you, or even if it's not beyond you, but it, it doesn't seem to be well settled within you. It's important to inquire of the Lord. And this week, I want us to truly spend time to inquire of the Lord concerning our lives, our marriages, our children, and all of that. And when Rebecca inquired of the Lord, God spoke to her and said, two nations are in your womb. Isn't that a shocker? She has two children in her womb, but God is speaking beyond what she's experiencing. That those children in your womb represent two nations. You know, sometimes things may be happening to us. We think, oh, this is just something small, something simple. It doesn't mean much, but it means much in God's equation, in God's plan. And when you seek God's guidance and God's direction, you begin to find that God has something bigger than what you are feeling right now. And that's what is happening to Rebecca. It's not just two boys in your womb. Rebecca, you are carrying nations. Can you imagine what you are carrying? Some of you are carrying nations. You are carrying big industries. You are carrying great things. And you don't understand it because things are happening in your life you can't figure out. Go to the Lord in prayer and he will show you the dimension of what you're carrying in your womb spiritually for the future. And, and God tells uh, Rebecca about what's going to happen in the future of these two children and the nations that will come out of them. The important lesson we learn is that things that may seem simple and ordinary can be huge and awesome before God. A life you think is ordinary before you is mighty before God. So inquire of the Lord and he would show you that the purposes you're carrying is far greater than what you, you can imagine. And that your discomfort is leading to something far more greater than you can imagine. Let us pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, thank you for your constant care and concern for me. Help me to trust in all things. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.